Hello everyone, this is our OpenMP multi-threading tutorial with DevC++. We have already discussed the multi-threading and concurrent programming with C++ with uh, standard C++ multi-threading examples. But um, when it comes to for some real-world apps, they usually take much time for implementation and testing. And that is when OpenMP enters the game. OpenMP is a set of compilers directives, library, this is a library procedures and environment variables which was developed for creating multi-threading apps for systems with shared memory in 1997. And it gives flexible interface for developing parallel applications for platforms, ranging from the desktop to the uh, supercomputers. This was initially designed for Fortran and later C and C++. Currently, OpenMP is supported by the most popular C and C++ compilers, so we can also use this OpenMP with our dev C++. It is important to comprehend that OpenMP works just on compilation time. It converts preprocessor directives to native Fortran, C or C++ code, which is then compiled to executable. And this allows the OpenMP to provide a kind of user-friendly interface without losing performance. OpenMP has many directives like barrier, construct, private, serial, region, share it, which you can learn from openmp.org. But don't worry, I will explain you everything we will do here. OpenMP um, uses the fork join model of parallel execution. Although this fork join model can be useful for solving various problems, it's tailored for large array-based applications. OpenMP is intended to support programs that execute correctly both as parallel programs. So, um, a program written with OpenMP C++ API begins execution as a single thread of execution called master thread. The master thread executes in a um, serial region until the first parallel construct is encountered. So, in the OpenMP C++ API, the parallel directive constitutes a parallel construct. When a parallel construct is encountered, the master thread creates a team of threads, and the master becomes master of the team. Each thread in the team executes the statements in the dynamic extent of a parallel region, except for the work sharing constructs. So now, let's code it. So go to File, New, Project, go to Console here, and select OpenMP, select C++ here, and click OK. So as you can see, this is our quick start code. Um, here we are including OpenMP header file, and we need to specify the parallel region. In OpenMP, we need to mention the region which we are going to make it as parallel using the keyword pragma OMP. This is why we are using it. We are declaring it as parallel code. So the pragma OMP parallel is used to fork additional threads to carry out the work included in the parallel. Moreover, we can set number of threads to execute the program using the external variables. So since we specified the number of threads to be executed as two here, so two threads will execute the same print statement at the same point of time. Here in this program, we can assure the order of execution of threads. Order of statement execution in the parallel region won't be the same for all executions. So you will see the output here. So let's compile and run. So as you can see, we got two threads, zero and one. And also we are here setting num threads to two. And as you can see, we got this um, output. So we can change it. I'm gonna set to eight, set to maybe 10. Let's compile. And as you can see, the order of executions are different. 0 is the first and 2 executed and 3, 6, 4, 5, 1 and the last one 7. The 8th thread. So it depends on your CPU. You can rerun and as you can see the output is different. Okay, um, now we have covered the most basic thing. Let's go to some more realistic situation. For example, we can take an array of integers and get square for each of them and store to another array. We're gonna do this with standard, um, the easy way. We won't use threads or parallel programming library like this and, and you will see the result. And after that, we're gonna implement with OpenMP and you will see the uh, better result with that.
okay we have declared array size array value and we have included algorithm and a time um, header files here to use this uh, clock functions and std fill n function here so we're just doing is some relatively long operation here and this is with OpenMP. So first I'm gonna comment out all the lines here, okay? All right, now we can compile and test and we can see the result. 0 0.69 seconds here, all right? So now I'm gonna comment out this and we're gonna compile and run with OpenMP. Okay, save that. And as you can see, we are getting 0.41 seconds. That's a lot better. Cool. So as you can see, you can achieve high performance by learning and applying OpenMP. I hope you have enjoyed this tutorial and um, thank you for watching.